Hello. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you what I'm talking about in this video. This will soon become apparent because, as everyone knows, an important person died in South Africa, a black activist and tireless worker for African rights. Stompy Moketsi was 14 years old when he was murdered by a bunch of thugs directed by Winnie Mandela, called the Mandela United Football Club. At the age of 12, Moketsi was imprisoned by the South African government for his activism and thereafter he was denied an education by being expelled from school. In 1988, he was accused of being a government informant he was abducted and his screams were heard all over the neighbourhood before his throat was cut by one of the football club. Winnie Mandela was convicted of kidnapping and assault, but on appeal got the verdict reduced to being an accessory and got off with a fine and a two-year suspended sentence which did nothing to deter her. And what do you know, just months later, in 1989, she was arrested again, this time for ordering the murder of Dr. Abu Bakr Asfat, a family friend, <laughs> with friends like that, who needs enemies, who had examined Stompy Maketsi after he was abducted and beaten up, but before he was killed. And perhaps he had to confirm how fit the kid was for having his throat cut. She was said to have paid about $8,000 and supplied the gun which killed Dr. Asfat. <clears throat> the prosecution never got off the ground, however, because her faithful football club were intimidating the witnesses. Later on, Winnie Mandela told the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, what a name, what a name that is, that the 18 human rights abuses of which she had been accused were ridiculous and that the witness against her, Katiza Sebehulo, had a mental illness. Sebehulo said he saw Winnie Mandela stab Moketsi, but when the case came to trial in 1991, what a surprise! Katitsa Sebuhulu was nowhere to be found and hasn't been seen since. Neither has Lolo Sono, another youngster assaulted by Winnie Mandela. Uh, but then some remains were found, uh, believed to be those of the aforementioned Lolo Sono and Sibuniso Chabalala, last seen alive at the Mandela home, and bearing evidence of multiple stab wounds, and they were found in Johannesburg's Avalon Cemetery in 2013. So, let's celebrate the short and painful life of Stompy Moketsi, a young man of great bravery and energy who defied a government which, though powerful, and corrupt, was not corrupt enough to murder him. No, he was killed, like the others, by his friends. Oh, uh, by the way, Winnie Mandela died yesterday, but then, as she herself said, that information is probably ridiculous and the fantasies of people with a mental illness.